hurricane season upon us and camping season coming soon. We needed a portable toilet because let's face it, if you lose your water supply, you uh, lose your ability to flush the toilet. But ahead of time, we do carry uh, a good supply of, of uh, drinking water, fresh water. We put lots aside just in case. And, uh, well, right now, my wife hates the Luggable Lou, so I had to come up with a flushable solution. Found this thing at a great price, and I uh, figured I'd give you a little walkthrough on it. Um, this is the Jax Petty J-A-X-P-E-T-Y, 5-gallon. Um, I've seen other manufacturers sell models almost identical to this, so it's probably pretty similar. It's a fairly generic 5-gallon uh, flush toilet. There's a couple of variances between this one and others, but let's just go through the basics. We have the top part. This holds, oh, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say, I would guess, say about three gallons of fresh water. The fresh water fill is right here. Just take that cap off and uh, fill it with fresh water. That's the flush rinse mechanism. That's the flush dump mechanism. I'll show you how those work in a minute. Each side has a paddle type clamp. They click off and back on and hold the two halves together. On the back is the drain. That's your where you pour it out. And uh, of course, there's your plunge lid. Fairly standard size uh, toilet seat ish thing. The whole thing's 17 inches tall uh, up to the top of the lid, so it's about an inch shorter than a standard toilet. Not too bad, pretty tolerable. Um, I have short legs, so that works for me. One thing they don't tell you is how to use these things. That information sheet is written in some language that's supposed to be English, but no, that isn't quite it. First, you make sure, well, with a brand new one, you make sure that you fill this with fresh water. Just take the old tap, fill it with water. The bottom part is empty. This lever that says pull will open and close and open and close the bowl. Um, if you shift it around, one thing I've noticed with this is this handle doesn't quite sit flush or flat. I don't care at the price I paid for this. really doesn't matter. So you've done your business. You want to flush. How do you do that? This pump here draws water out of the tank and sprays it from the dual sprayer. Let me demonstrate. Like so. And then to get it to go down, pull that lever out and see. So anything you had in there has now gone into the holding tank. Now you want to empty the holding tank. Take, pop those levers off. Take the top part off, make sure this is closed, and then carry the black tank to a regular toilet um, or a uh, dump station, wherever. Um, and from that nozzle, of course, being very careful not to spill on yourself, open it with the, the valve you know, cap thing up and uh, pour the contents down a toilet, down a... Uh, 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 yeah, a dump station, being very careful not to splash any on yourself, obviously, and uh, pour it on out. Once it's empty, fill again with maybe a gallon of uh, clear water, put the cap back on, slosh it all around, because what you're trying to do is rinse out all the gack, and then dump it again until it's clean and ready to go. 
Um, if you're going to add a deodorant to it, add it directly to the holding tank. Do not add it through the bowl. Add it through the uh, that drain cap thing. So that's about all there is to this. It's really basic, really simple. And uh, in the event of hurricane aftermath, uh, bad toilets at your state park campground or your various music or renaissance festivals or whatnot, this could be a real lifesaver, if not a marriage saver. Okay, something I forgot to mention. And this is solely for the heftier gentleman, okay? You know who you are. Um, you noticed that the toilet seat opening was kind of small. Um, you are going to need to be creative when using this toilet uh, to do your business. Um, you're going to have to practice doing the tuck, if you know what I mean. Um, it just, it's part of having extra weight on you. I'm sorry. It just is. Okay. Um, it can be done. I'm big. I, I'm, I'm really big. Okay. I am trying to lose weight. I have been losing weight, but I'm still far too big. Okay. Part of the reason I do these videos, part of the reason I do these reviews is for other people like me who are wanting to use outdoor activities to help with the weight loss and, and regaining some health. I, that's, that's a big piece of what I'm trying to do here. So if you have that issue, please don't let it take, you know, take you out of the game. Okay. Your family wants you there. I would think I'd hope anyway. Um, you know, I, this is something my wife and I share is our, our love for these outdoor activities and these festivals. And this is really something we can do together. This is a way that I can make her comfortable. Um, just get some practice with it. Okay. That's, that's all I can tell you. Um, good luck and uh, enjoy the thing. Like I said, I checked the weight capacity with the manufacturer of this particular toilet, which is why I bought it. It's rated at 440 pounds. I'm nowhere near that. I'm big, but I'm not at 440. I got a lot of headroom on that. So, you know, if you're close to or above that number, um, I don't know, but that's, that's not an issue I got to deal with. So, uh, if you do have, uh, if that is an issue you're dealing with and you found a solution for it, please let me know. Cause I want to forward that information to other people. All right. So thanks a lot and uh, take care. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel and then clicking on the videos link. Lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.